at going into that one. But Dusty, I still think it will be a very close game. I do hedge slightly towards CLG from the way they looked yesterday and considering that big fact of Guardian not being there. Starx, although he's looking good, yeah. I don't think he can perform to that level. I feel like that may be a little bit of an anomaly. I mean, that level, let's be honest, there's not many people in the entire world that can perform to that level. Mm. But it, again, as Yanko said, the other players on this team have the structure, have the skill. Now, they've been inconsistent at times, but the Major showed as Guardian and Olaf, as much like on Fnatic, Guardian had one of the worst performances in his career at a big tournament. They still made a final, and it was players like Flamey, like Edward, What's Edward problem, in specific, obviously. that stepped up. So if those guys show up, Stark doesn't have to be Guardian. He just has to be enough. What's good as well, for CLG's book anyway, that we saw actually it was Fugly and Hayes, that some of the players we don't really talk about too much are not necessarily the stars of this team. They're actually the ones top fragging yesterday on Dust2 against G2. So that's actually a really cool contributing factor going into this one. But it looks like we are getting ready here. It's going to be Dust2, Navi starting on the CT side, CLG, of course, on the terrorists. Buys are coming in now. We'll see what kind of tactic that Navi decides to employ on the CT side. Normally they do boost up towards short and gain that information. Try and spot towards the B. Actually going to be changing things up here. It's going to be two players towards long. Spotting from middle here. We have got four sets of armor, four CLG. Cut that on towards the utility player as well. Seize does push through the mid doors. Try to take down a couple of those towards T spawn. Smoke comes in. And now CLG just holding up on the default, waiting to see if that push I mentioned before will be coming. And Hazed going to be the first one to get down toward the bottom of middle right now, but has the bomb in his hands. So thankfully, he's going to rotate back and out. Catwalk now with his teammates leading the charge instead. It's Mr. Lounge, JDM. Why are we lounging today? Uh, you know, I just... I'll leave it to him, you know. He's a little better at it. True. Well, it looks like an AXQ coming in here. Flashbangs will come over. They're going to be swarming the site. It's going to be Starrix and Zeus to pick up the first frag, taking down JDM. So Starrix now goes for the peak on the face after the flash. Not a kill, but decent damage done on a haze. You'd think with that many shots, he might have got one, but now he does. He's got two as they get up close. Makes up for it in spades as he finds a third. Now on a Fugly as well. Zeus there on to Terex. So thank you very okay. much, Coach. If NIP can perform with Threat, we can perform with Starrix. Well, that's... Performing and then some, finding three frags in the pistol as well as they're executing onto the site. You've got lots of targets in front of your screen. He takes a low HP player down first and then a third headshot. I didn't think he was going to get this one. Very nice stuff from him. Denies the plan as well, so the force by will be coming in from CLG. They're going to have Tech 9s, P250s, some three sets of head armor as well. And we'll see what they bring to the next round. Bomb towards the top of middle right now and three players towards lower base. This probably will be the mid split. Smoking towards CD spawn and try and get into the bomb site potentially. And Zeus and Seize look poised and ready. She may be changing their options here. Actually, be working up towards Catwalk, but that's where Starrax got all the frags, and he has ready with the M4A1, ready for the players to cross. Zeus does get that information. See, he's going to re-peek on top of it because he wants to rotate Zeus with that UMP a little bit closer to the Catwalk position. The drop play in effect. Smoke's already down. CLG drops in. Zeus, he's sprayed away. He's going to go to the pistol instead, and it's only massive damage done on a Fugly. They can still get a bomb plant out of this CLG. As they are going to do exactly that. Hazed will plant for Catwalk. First kill still going the way of Navi, but it's well for them. Zeus will take back Fugly. Terra, he's the shot with the Tech 9. Still has cat control out of that as well, which is where it's planted for that direction. This actually looks all right. This could still work. Wow. Hazed, he's going to get down seized. That works out excellent now that they've got Cat still under control. Cutler can fall, but they still have Terra and Hazed if they don't even get that far. And Starks with the M4 is already looking to get away from this. He's going to rotate getting, out. He's getting the kit. Oh, you're right. Dead, dead right. He goes for the kit. So they're going to be coming in. There's two players towards short one and Gandalf as well. That kills massive. If Flamey goes down, it's now a two versus one. Starrox with no options here. As I mentioned before, he had to go to CD spawn just to get a kit. That retake just wouldn't have been possible without it. But there it is, CLG with a semi-force by only three players of body armor as well. They managed to get it towards short, find that initial frag. And it's a really decent hole for them as well to bring it into one plays one. Now they do save one rifle in the hands of Starrex, but that's about it. It's a disappointing hole for them, considering they actually got the first frag there when the execution came into CLG. Go for the default of Stark, get Catwalk control. Three smokes, one towards uh, crossover, one towards spawn, one on the actual Catwalk itself. Flashes go over, push Starrex back, and they get control of the site. The short plant comes down. It's just a really decent hold there, hitting the shots and making sure they're cross-firing effectively. So the one rifle saved, they force around it, including a Mag-7 that goes into the hands of Zeus. So they are forcing back. So we have got an M4, Mag-7. We'll see what they can do with this. It's going to be Starrex with the aforementioned rifle towards short right now, looking for that first pick. Edwards getting a little bit aggressive towards the long doors and that off angle. But CLG, no, they can just run a default right now. Setting up potentially to go out towards middle as they have got two players in upper B. Starrex does spot two, but doesn't land any damage just yet. We'll be 40 back with a flashbang. 
Hazed. With JDM, who takes a reasonable amount of damage from that nade. Flamey's gonna wait now onto the beast side. Well, with the Deagle spots up, but Fugly's hit the shot already. The Galil headshot onto Flamey. Doesn't quite have the reaction time. Seized up close. Sees it 75, gets one, but only one. Fugly continuing his charge inside of the beast side, has all three down. Yep, nice work from CLG getting to the bomb side effectively. Now they do find one taking down Haze there, so potentially can collect another rifle here. As the bomb will be planted in the B site. Starrack still on the M4, and it's actually an M UMP they get a salvage here, so wouldn't recommend going for this. Edward probably can see what he can do with the UMP. Starrack's in the B tunnels. They have got the kit as well, so maybe something to do with this, but now they've been smoked out. That's pretty much get a signal that they will be falling back and trying to save these weapons. CLG look like they're on the hunt as well. All three players forcing themselves out of the bomb site. A couple of just watching the back as well, making sure there's no cheeky ninjas coming in. Whoa, did my cough box wow. fail? Yawning on stream now. Is that a new I'm thing? trying to clear my nostrils, so I went for a big deep breath, but apparently the cough box failed and I've been I've been Sorry if we're boring you, Matt, with this exciting game. Listen. All right, I've been sold out by I'm blaming it on Nick. The production the cough button didn't work. Wow. What can you say about that one? I Two. can say a lot of things. <laughs> 2-1 in favor of CLG. Decent Antigo from them. We did see a force buy from Navi, so did what they could, but only managed to save the UMP in the end. We do have a pause coming in here, I think. Maybe this is Tendo. I think I did see well, maybe the coach or manager drop out from Navi's side, but I think we're okay. We're getting straight back into this one. So the AWP comes with JDM. He's looked incredibly sharp recently. I had all the shots and I've uh, been carrying in recent months for C uh, CLG, but Tarek as well in sensational form so far. Are you okay now? I don't trust this cough box system that we're running anymore, Henry. Okay, wow. I've been sold out. Navarri I've been given up. Can we concentrate? Yes! Maybe. Starek's gonna go for the peek at long, though. Fugly's already out. He's got him with the headshot. He's gonna take Flamey, so Fugly looking very solid on his entry so far. This time against guns as well. Well, all right, pistol's there. There's Edward on the UMP, but... Fugly, they're here to fix it, Henry. They're gonna, they're gonna save us. Save you. You're right. I'm fine. Zeus going back up toward Catwalk. Fugly's got him as well, holding the angle. It's the AK this time instead of the Galil in Fugly's hands. But another hat trick of frags. Edward limited off to the CT spawn. Well, Edward does have the UMP, but he wouldn't better do much of this. He's stuck towards that spawn area, as you said. Bomb will be planted. Platform plant going down. They obviously have got JDM and four other players alive as well. So this is a guaranteed round for CLG now. A little bit of damage coming in, but JDM does find Edward there. And now just sees with the USP holding and cowering in lower B. Hoping someone just runs into his crosshair at this stage when we're falling off short. But the money situation, gonna be $2,400 coming into the bank accounts of Navi next round. Won't be a fantastic buy, but definitely enough to force up and we'll see what they can do with the orbs. This he's now hunting and seeing if he can find anything. But the problem is CLG have exited out towards long, all five players staying alive. So after losing the pistol, they've looked very good so far. And it's gonna be 3-1 now in favor of the American side. Too shabby. Decent start. But now the gun's going to come back up on the counter terrorist side. Immediately, Starrix goes onto the AWP, but it's going to be a glass cannon. Indeed. Well, it looks like he'll be going towards A. He won't be challenging towards middle yet. JDM, of course, orping for CLG. He'll be looking towards mid, seeing if he can get any information from the pushes. Now we don't have a single kit here. Starrix, as you said, on glass cannons. It's not the best buy for them. He's in the need to cross towards middle. And it's a pretty standard setup so far. So two players towards B. And three towards long for now. Going to be holding up. No initial rush or push coming in from CLG, making sure they do pretty standard round themselves. Holding up, spreading up. And presumably going into... They did a lot of A splits yesterday. Made sure that they, do you remember they were pushing into mm -hmm. long and getting that long control and actually holding JD down? I do remember, Henry. That's good. And then the idea is once you have that long control, you can actually fall back and pin to the site and make pressure onto the site so the CTs have to look at both places. Textbook stuff. They don't really get Cutler through this door, though. Edward's still going to be holding down the anchor position from the CT perspective. Starks waiting at the car. Default play, Zeus. The swingman, he has to watch the drop strategy if CLG elect to go for it. Very slow. Very methodical from CLG against that of Navi, who are known for this style, but it's them that sets the pace on the T side, CLG. This is the long retake coming in now. You can see Edward is going to be there by himself behind Blue Bin right now, but one flashbang comes over, he could be absolutely yeah. done for. This is a really tough position to get multiple kills in. They've already spotted him, but almost gets a lineup. Does take down Tarek. Decent damage as well further on, but Starrix 
He's gonna bring the AWP down to recover this lost ground. First shot, successful. Starix sees the shoulder on the second, but needs to find the shot, and Starix, the manager, he's gonna get two kills. Hazed gets back into him finally, but it is Flamey and Seize that are left alive against Hayes, and who has to go back for the bomb at long 24 seconds. They're gonna have perfect position on top of the A site by the time he grabs that. Starrock's delivering there, finding those two key frags, drops the bomb as well. Now Hayes in a very difficult situation. 15 seconds, does smoke towards the crossover to give him some positional control. Decides to go towards one, finds one. Could have got the second there, but Flamey steps up and gets the kill to finish the round off. But that was all about Starrock. They lost the initial frag. Edward did take one down with him, but Starrock's found two and just bore them so much time. A lot of pressure in the Hayes side of the pitch there. And it's going to be 3-2 in favor of CLG, but they still have tons of cash there. That was a difficult round for Navi, even though they won it. You can see they have a UMP, a Scout, a Famous. This could be the hard reset coming in now, Matt. What are you smiling about? Absolutely nothing, Henry. Put the Scout on to Seized. Change Ooh. in play, but it works out. terek has gone. Perfect start for Navi in this round, considering the situation. Fugly has to go on the entry once more over at B. Close smoke on the tunnel gives a slight gap. Over to the left side of Fugly's perspective, the right for Flamey, who's going to try and take advantage of it. Sit with this AK, but JDM's got the shot through the edge of the smoke as he jumps up on the edge of the box as well. No, take that back. It's Fugly that was in close. Either way, a good shot from JDM. And holds Zeus outside of the site. Still three versus three, but there's only two kits. Starx doesn't have one. They've got to smoke those. going to smoke in front of the tunnels. Flashbangs can come over. Incendiary as well to flush out any, CT, uh, any terrorists on the back platform. Waiting for the smoke just to extinguish now. JDM going to be repositioning himself as that Molotov just come in. And here comes the retake. JDM forced down onto the ground. Fits the first shot still onto Starx, though. Has to watch toward the window. Flash comes through. He's fully caught in the full duration. Has to reposition as accordingly. They're falling back. Yeah, they are. The two players at Tunnels would have been able to support him if they pushed into him, so JDM was safe. Yeah, nice shot from him. Just finished the round off there. Cool, calm and collected. It's going to be a three on two, but Navi, as I said, full reset coming in. Only $1,400 after winning the last, and it was a difficult buy for them going into this round. So, saving these two weapons means they have something to work with next round. Will be four plays two in favor of CLG now, bouncing back after Hayes lost that one versus one. And we'll have a look at the cash for Navi. So, two rifles. They can't really justify forcing into this match. I think they just need to maybe smoke towards the middle, hopefully, do a stack towards B. Send the rifles towards A, something like that. Or they could push, they could boost the rifles on towards short and see if they could find frags and go for the initial pick. We'll see how they decide to go into this one. Ooh, that was close for JDM. But close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, Henry. They don't have horseshoes in this game, but they do have hand grenades. As Tarek's gonna push in, double face. Spray down from Tarek onto Flamey. Fugly finds seized. And both players gone already. Good Molotov off on the window. Yeah. And an immediate save call. Bomb site's completely open now. They get to see saving these two rifles as well. So it was all done to Fugling and Tarek going in their way towards B, utilizing the decent spawn. Finding the first two frags, Flamey and Seize drop. And that's the round over. So CLG increasing their lead now. There's a bomb we planted. I would say at this stage, they probably could justify going for the hunt here. No two weapons are available. We've got Cutler holding the long doors. Hoping you'll find something out of this, but it's quite a disciplined play from CLG so far. We have got one player rotating in from T-Spawn. That'll be Fugly. If they'll go for the long retake, it's yet to be seen. Dust is one of those maps, Matt, where you can actually utilize as decent spawns. So you get a nice B-spawn towards the left-hand side of T-spawn there. You can actually run in, justify it. You know the CTs have lesser weapons, potentially don't have incendiaries as well. Won't have an AWP to lock you down, so that's actually very viable in those sort of situations, but can be a high-risk maneuver. They're stacked with that site. It's one of the tightest choke points on the map, so can lose your dollar rounds as many as it gains you. And they don't dare push through those doors to take away the weapons. Starks was the one behind the door to use his pistol. Edward would have had the lineup again from the blue bin. But five now rounds for CLG. We stay with JDM on the AWP. It's going to be a very, very narrowed buy for the CT side. It's going to be a FAMAS to come out surely, at least one of them. Well, they've got three rifles now, so yeah, they will be forcing up into this fully. So FAMAS, 4 and 4s no AWP yet. Yeah, this is perfect time for JDM to capitalize. He's just looking towards middle once again. Have a standard setup from Navi. Three players towards long, two in B. Once again, I expect more of a deep from the They know just controlling this financial situation. Just work the picks, execute together. We need to see how strong that A play can be from them. So we have got Zeus now repositioning himself. He's going to be joined by Starrux as well. They're showing presence towards short. Want to go for that first pick. One being baited in behind the steps there. So he's waiting for the flashbangs. His teammate will try and get the aggro for him and drop down. And then he can, Zeus can turn around and just hopefully take two players. It's one of those positions you need to be getting multi frags here to even survive. Good spotting on that flash from Starrux, but excellent position from Zeus. As you mentioned, walks out, takes down two. Tarek and Hazed are gone. JDM. Hold the angle all you like. 
Yeah, that's, that's exactly how it should go. As I said, you need to be finding multiple frags if you can stay alive there. It's uh, Darax taking the aggro, but Cutler coming in from long. Good play, though, because as soon as they won on Catwalk, they knew that the last approach onto the A site was long. They retake it. And Edwards now got full control of it, despite that they put that aggression onto Catwalk initially. So really good read from Navi. They sit four versus two. JDM does find Edward. Fugly's lurked inside the site deep. Zeus isn't going to spot this, but the shot was missed. Fugly's gone low. It's one bullet either way, and Zeus is going to win the battle. JDM has to clutch this out versus three. Yeah, Zeus has found three kills this round. They know where he is as well, so the bomb is down towards outside long doors. We have got Flamey patrolling towards lower B as well. 25 seconds remains, but I don't really see how JDM could do anything with this. Flamey facing this angle is a tough call for him, but he's going to capitalize, and actually wow. JDM somehow with a P250 that comes out on top. 15 seconds remain now. At this point with the AWP, it's probably worth saving, oh. but he's going for this. He gets taken down in the end. He's well aware of his position, what he is up to. Does take him down. Another round where Navi lose three players here. Money still hasn't been stabilized. It's going to be another four spy coming into this. They have to spend everything just to get their, all the grenades and get their rifles back in their hands. CLG have a lot of potential here to force them onto an eco as we go into round number nine. But Starrax back on the AWP. We'll see what kind of spawn he has. Very decent for long, actually. So you can go face that angle and see if there is any terrorists coming to face with the flashbang. Nothing aggressive coming in yet from CLG. Must be running defaults almost every single round here. Molotov out, but Edwards already pushed through the initial set of doors. He's going to hold the off angle as well, so decent position for him to be in. So Seals, you like you're saying, they want to try and get that aggression out toward long, get the player in there, get the control of it, and then put the other three in middle and play off the default, but they aren't even getting that control of the pit this time. Yesterday they were, this time not even close, so Edward is actually being quite efficient in that position. Starks again, going to take down Hayes with the AWP. He's looking strong today again. We didn't think Lightning would strike twice, but he's hitting all the orb shots that are presented to him. And that's the first one, taking down Hayes, and there's no refrag, but the rest of the terrorists now making their way out towards middle. Edward finds a kill onto Cutler. Five versus three. They have got mid control, one player in towards upper B as well, so next frag would be very important. Navi going for the retake towards middle. It's perfect. Zeus finds Tarek now. JDM stuck in towards lower B. Options very limited as they are in towards the tunnels with no real estate on the map. That's JDM trying to backtrack toward his own spawn because of Edward's positioning. It's such a problem. There is a gap toward the A site, though, because of this rotation toward middle. Starx has to get back in time or a bomb plant's possible. JDM nearly gets the shot onto him as well. He's going to reface, tags him through the edge of the wall. Pistol will do it. And now the bomb plant is entirely possible, but that Molotov's slightly late. JDM's not going to spot it until too late. And Steve gets that kill. They're swarming onto Fugly. No bomb plant in. He doesn't have time to put it down comfortably, so Seuss gets the kill. It was a five on two, but had JDM hit that second shot, God knows what would have happened there, but Navi managed to hold on there, and it's great retakes from them, especially towards middle. Great teamwork, good communications, making sure they're flashing and facing from both angles, outside B and CD spawn at the same time, lock them down. And it's Star X opening up the round as well with the AWP, so he's looking incredibly strong. They haven't broken CLG just yet, and it's, well, that helps, though. Uh, JDM does get the first kill on Star X. He goes for the aggressive face towards middle, a little bit too audacious, I guess, as Seas does recover the AWP. And we're looking to rectify this situation as he pushes through the mid doors and looking towards the other. <coughs> Tarek is there. Did it again, Henry. Did it again. Maybe stop relying on it. It's my fault. Continue. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you so rudely. It's okay. I was just making the point that Seeds was going for the pick towards lower B, and that actually is a lot more effective. He gets the headshot onto Hayes through middle doors, and now it is a four on four. So that's a frag he was looking for, and he's actually managed to stabilize the situation as the T's now recalibrate and working out how they're going to this. Two players in upper B with the bomb as well, so you'd assume. This will be more mid to be antics, but maybe they can do the contact B we saw yesterday from them. They've dropped one smoke in front of the tunnels, walk through and try and allow JDM to get that first pick. As the edge ever so closer to that side of the map. So he's waiting for them in the back of the platform though. This is a perfect position for him. He should be getting this first frag. We'll see if it pays off or not. They do have Fugly already crossed over. He's in a position where he's got to face that at one point in time or another. And Tarek at least will get the shot oh. at mid. Good shot at Edward. Good awareness opens up the map. The options are they go high now. Open. That's, the, that's the player pushing from long and the player pushing from short. The last two are going to be B. That's a easy guess in anyone's book. So make your way up towards short. Still plenty of time. CTs can't really justify going for this at this stage. Fugly does find the kill on towards C's. And this is just really nice play for CLG. Didn't even have to work for these kills. It was Navi that gifted them to them. And a situation I don't think they actually had to. Terrorists haven't even made their play yet, and they're pushing out from short by themselves, and then one towards long. Easy frags for Tarek, made it look very simple for him. And now it's just going to be flaming. He recovers the AWP, but he's stuck towards the B site, so 
You saw CLG actually setting up for that B play. Got ab about to work the pick, and Cutlass is gifted a frag towards middle, and everything falls apart at the seams for Navi there. And that's a big round for them to win. That would have been them on a pretty much full eco CLG. And so, round number 11 next round, but Flowing Meat is trying to hold on to this orb. Duck in the D tunnel should do it as well. You can see CLG are kind of turtling up on the A site, making sure nothing goes wrong here. Interesting round. And it's. I mean, Terra getting those two kills. It's just brilliant. Lovely stuff from him, but you have to feel like Seas was just so ready for them to come towards B. Had they just waited and been a bit more patient, would have been a different story, I feel. But there it is. CLG do capitalize. And we do manage to save the AWP. So. With the money now you have, they can force into this. It's going to be a Famous and a double orb set up now. So I actually like this. So we'll see what Seize has got in store for us. He's presumably taking that towards B. I doubt he'll be challenging towards mid after what happened to Starrock's last round. Flash. Cross. Yeah, Flash lets them cross. They don't even face it. Seize and Flamey going to get to the site. Tarek and Fugly going to cover off the tunnels, make sure there's no pushing through. Remember CLG completely dismantling G2, who had been running that strategy Indeed. in the lead up to this. So. It is Edward out toward Long, though. Starx is beside it. Another shot from JDM through the doors at mid. No one's going to be on the receiving side of it. Starx is going to be running the double op again with Seized. Going for that catwalk control once again, COG. This will be the same sort of thing we saw um, on their Antico right? Or their Eco run they actually won. They'll be smoking towards CD Spawn, flashing over, taking Starx out of the game. As long as they get past this first corner, which they didn't before, this is actually very viable for them now. Starx is just going to be patient. It is the right setup. Yeah, so smoke's everywhere, flash out, takes Starrix out of the game, and Cutler comes in for the backstab. Flash down, smoke as well, look for the drop. Edward, meanwhile, out toward Long's gonna get challenged. That'll keep him occupied. Starrix, a late smoke. That one's clever. That's nifty. Out toward the, the corner of Long, and Starrix has no vision. That's very, very nifty, because look how far they can get advanced. Not only have they gotten down the drop, Tarix there comfortably. He can hold off Zeus late. Starrix can't get shot. Really well done from CLG. Bomb gets planted for Cat. They still have control of it as well. And Seize does get at least one under Tark. Well, as for the retake, but they've got so much information with Fugly still lurking toward that mid door. Yeah, they know they can't come from CD spawn, but there are two players towards long here. Edwin Starrock sees five JDM as well. It's now going to be two players remaining for CLG. Fugly doing what he can, taking down two there. And somehow this is becoming possible now. Hayes with 14 HP has two players to find still. Molotov's gonna go out, did it? Oh, it missed. It hit the edge That's of the door frame and it didn't even get, oh no, it did make it, all right. But just barely, there's a gap in it. So there you go, Flamey's gonna go down, get on top of it. They just have time. And that's going to do it, Navi. What a retake. It looked so good. That smoke in the corner again, I have to say, that was very nifty from I still CLG. feel like if the Molotov had landed directly on the bomb, Might have he, would, he wouldn't have been able to get as close, right? He would have had to wait on the outside ring of the, the actual fire, and that could have been the difference maker. He was able to get like three misses closer with the Mr. Molotov. Yes, it was enough to deny the diffuse, but didn't zone them out enough. That could have been a different story, but decent effort from CLG. A decent retake coming in all the same from Navi. So six phase five now, and it is gonna be a force by coming in from CLG. Tech nines, we have got C's in lower B with the Famous in hand. This could be a challenge for him as well. They only have a few players coming to challenge him. And there it is, first kill comes in, C's finds it. Starak taking down Hayes on the other side of the map, but Tarek does get the kill back in return. Still the man advantage in favor of Navi. And working as a unit, Navi winning along with three players. They all rotate back over towards CT spawn at Zeus. It's gonna be on the other side of the smoke from Tarek, who's picked up the AK, but he's get, get absolutely obliterated by Flamey through that smoke. Actually, I take that back. Flamey's from the window, but JDM still is gonna find him in the site. There's a chance if they can get the bomb in, they've got it there, but they can't cross comfortably. Yeah, they haven't got any utility to actually smoke off the doors or flash out or model off the window. And but there we go. Why it, this this confuses me now, because if there's no smoke in the door, Starx just has to hold the angle instead. I get it, okay, he wants to get utility for his teammates, but if he had hit that shot, it could have been... Well, I guess it works out the same. It could have been a little bit quickerly done, but more quickly uh, done. Uh, yeah, that works. I, I guess the whole idea is, if you even if you allow him to cross that shot, it's still very difficult to hit, man. So even if he, he spots him, there's still a chance the bomb gets planted. They want to deny that bomb and just get no money in CLG's pockets in the next round. So I actually don't mind that at all. They want to be aggressive. They're the ones with utility, and they go over, fully flash them, take it together, making sure they're facing at the same time. And that's not a bad call at all. So now Navi reading this pretty nicely. They're going to be going over the MP9 towards lower B. There's a pretty much full eco for CLG. They're going to be rushing B here. Sees poised and ready with the MP9. What can he make of this? Well, Hayes does get one back, but Seized getting two with that MP9. Brilliantly done. It's going to go back the way of Fugly's hands now, though, but... So even if he dies there, he's established there on pretty much a full eco. He's got two kills for it. Yeah. That's, that's what he needs to do. Well, $1,200 with that establishment as well. Good. Dink. Zeus gets taken down by Hayes. Drive-by shooting. Comes out far worse for where as he puts Hayes only down to 61 in comparison. He's going to flash back over this 
They've already gone up Catwalk, though. Haze will lead the way. Fugly again, the only one to pick up anything. It's MP9, though, from this range against, well, this gun in the hands of Styrix. Let's see what he can do here. CLG do have a smoke, so they could smoke in front of themselves and try and jump for it, get towards spawn once again. But like you said, Styrix has such a strong position here. He should be getting at least one or two. And the first shot doesn't actually land. He doesn't get tagged up very hard. He does, on the second one, take a lot of damage, but hits the shot onto Haze, and Edward's going to come over to do the rest of the work. Yeah, nice work from Starrex. Takes a lot of damage. Gets the one kill he required. Got the information. Fell back. Waited for his teammates to rotate in as well. And it's a very clean round there. And Navi actually taking the lead now. As we go into round number 14, COG will have cash once again. They're going to have the AWP, of course, on towards JDM. And the double orbs that are back in the hands of Navi. So Starrex can seize. I'd be surprised he went for the face here. Let's see what they got in plan. She is to be playing up towards B, three towards long once again. This is the long control we're talking about with CLG. We haven't seen it much this game. This time they will be going for the fast take. I've got a player out, and they've pushed the CDs back now. They have no choice but to go back to the bomb side, but it's a perfect A split coming in. Fugly gets the first and cut the pincering as well. Oh. All three players on the A side obliterated. And Flamian sees, wondering what a god's name just happened there, but that's the fast A split. We saw a lot of that yesterday, and finally it comes in today. Absolutely, and Fugly again with two kills on the entry. He's already picked up the AWP to complement that of JDM. So they can elect to go to a double op setup now on the T side if they want. It is an if, because yeah, okay, there it is. He's already dropped it back. They've gone to the AK. You don't really need two to execute on Dust 2. It's a bit of a reach at that point. But they need to get the one from Seized. If they could do that, it would be even better. The problem is that he's already way back toward T spawn. He's got his teammate Flamey a little bit further up with the rifle for the trade kills. And they can't afford to leave the bomb this early to go for it in the off chance that someone pulls the snacks. Pulls the snacks. I don't think we'll ever see anything like that ever again. I seriously hope we don't. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well then, CLG pull things back to 7-7. Seized will be saving the AWP and flaming the M4 as well. Looks like they will be surviving on the other side of the map compared to the terrorists. But we go into round number 15 now. Money would have been tight if CLG could have found those weapons, but they were pretty low themselves. Couldn't really justify the hunt. So they've actually got two orbs, I think. So JDM and Cutler were picking those up, going for the door bangs at the start of the round. And Navi, they get a nice healthy buy as well after saving those weapons. Still have the two orbs, of course, as we go into the final round of the half. We'll see after that fast play for CLG, whether they'll be going in with the same mentality. It looks like JDM does fancy the long pick coming in straight away. And it's going to spot one crossing, legs him through the corner of the wall there. Takes Edward down to 19 HP. Now he's stuck in a very difficult position by himself and long. No HP, hasn't got anyone to back him up. He's going to wait above this smoke as well, try and find the shot. He's being stared down in return, though, by JDM. But look at Stark's position. He is in such a good position. It's an AWP that's so close, though, so we can't exactly go for a fast peek as if it were an M4 or an AK. As such falls away, but that could have been brilliant if he went for one very fast shot and hit it. Tarek's still going to try and evaluate above this smoke, so they do go for the double op setup as Zeus gonna give away his position. Tarek doesn't fire against the doorway to try and catch him off. Meanwhile, Edward has gone down to 19 HP. Yeah, he's only got a leg to the start. There's a decent nade there from middle towards short. That's taken Hayes down to 49. So still, we can see the terrorist exploring towards middle. Working every angle with Zeus with the pop flash in hand. This could be perfect if he times it well. Oh, he's thinking about it too. He's thinking about it. Is he going to hear them? They've already got in. Pop Flash will go. Tarek avoids it. Fugly's there. But who's going to take the peek first? Fugly's fully blinded. He didn't actually have time to turn around. Now the Molly goes out. And they try and push into it. It's a one for one. Where's the refrag? They have to hit the shot on Zeus, but the smoke comes out just in time and they can't. So Zeus is going to get away towards CT. JDM now executing onto Catwalk, though. Has to hit Starix, who has the angle nearly lines up too. That was desperately close, but it's JDM instead and Zeus. There it is. The man who stays alive is going to come back to haunt them as the bomb gets planted. Another retake position here. We still have Edward towards long. Tarek patrolling short as well. Cutler on the bomb side. So CTs need to work out how they're going to get into this. They've got a distinct lack of utility in towards CD spawn, hoping someone's going to face here and give them an opening. Flash comes back in again. That's going to allow Edward around the corner from Monk. Sees, though, has Tarek down, and it's Cutler on the site. Has to come up large. Does find the first kill. Jump shot's trying to be achieved right now from Navi, and a good shuffle from Cutler. As he finds out on Flamey, he's got low HP. Zeus in front, and now it's just down to Seized. One versus two on an AWP. It's a desperate chance. Round 15, oh. he has to go for it, and Hayes, he's going to close it out. Lovely stuff there. Once they got the leg on towards Edward at the beginning of this round, he 
Felt like he was almost removed entirely, couldn't really come back instead of retake until his teammates were ready in CT spawn and that lack of utility couldn't actually enter into the bombs. I couldn't smoke anything off, just trying to do what they could. Found the opening of the orb, but the setup was too strong from Cutler. That crossfire on the A bomb site gave them everything they required. And they actually end up winning the half here as well as the replaying the screen. Cutler doing some fantastic work here, great positional control. Just timing everything perfectly. And he picks up those first two frags, even sees in the retake with the AWP. That's the problem sometimes with the double orb setup when you're going for those retakes. If your orb is the left, last one left, then he's got two AKs to find, they can just hide and outposition him. But CLG, after losing the pistol, winning the half. That was a great force buy from them in the second round. But still a very tight game here. Extremely tight game. Do we feel CLG. like, do we feel like uh, the Guardian factor is missing at the moment? Do we feel like Starx is filling the role? I think Starx did reasonably well, all things so. considered. He's got nine kills. Who's getting opening frags? Who's hitting them as I cross the A side as well and towards long? He found those two very influential yes, kills. Yes, those two at long, I think, were the, the fanciest of the bunch, but... They weren't, as, they weren't as dynamic from my liking. They weren't like taking him around the map. He wasn't going for the really audacious face. Yeah. He's more of the turret style, right? He's just getting them as they cross and making sure he hits the shots. That and, and that's the fact. I mean, you can't fault Starrix for missing shots or playing poorly, but it's, it is a different style to Guardian. So would yeah. they have benefited? I mean, that's an that's apples to oranges argument. It's hard to really quantify if they lost from not having Guardian in this case. Edward has been headshot at the beginning of the round and goes down to 6 HP. And they'll be working on where they can go with this. They have got one smoke and two flashbangs. COG on the other hand, five sets of armor. They used to be battling. He wants to take more damage down. He's going to continue facing here as well. Now if you're looking at like they'll be changing their options up here. Cutler finds the first kill on towards Edward. That's at the long doors as well. So now it is a five on four and the T's yet to really show their hand in terms of any sort of execution here. Going to be getting catwalk control, but Fugly waiting. In a sneaky position behind the barrel here. That just allows them to cross before they can actually face him. They have to commit before they can even see him. Fugly is patient. Navi not going to face it initially. That works. Hayes just executes seized. And they got a two-man advantage. They are up around the corner. That barrel prohibits Fugly from spotting this. It's JDM that's going to get the read first. And they peek out together. Fugly actually hits a headshot. So a collateral sick. with a pistol. That position's so nice, as I said. All he has to do then, his teammate can get the, the attention from the long cross. Everyone's looking towards it. They have no idea he's there. And they have to be fully committed before they can even see him. They can't really stop and afford to try and aim on him. So he just picks up three lovely kills there. Great work from Fugly. And CLG picking the pistol now. Extends their lead to nine plays seven. And Navi, after not getting the bomb down, will be forcing into this one. So Desert Eagles, Tech Nines, some armor, a couple of flashbangs. They haven't got any smokes here. Oh, there you go. Zeus does pick up one in the end. So. That means it gives them a couple of options at least. Most teams will opt to go out towards middle on these rounds, smoking off CT spawn, trying to flash out any presence towards mid. That's CLG in a very passive hold here. No one towards middle whatsoever. Hayes is in the window, looking down, expecting this. He's got the perfect weapon for the job as well. JDM coming in for that close train spray potential. But it's actually going to be short than Navi will be focusing on this time. So potentially getting a wall of smoke and trying to flash towards the bomb site. It's tagged to pick up the first kill. He gets seized there, and there comes the CT spawn smoke as we expected. Maybe it's a bit of a fake, though, as the rest of the team are heading towards long here. I'm not really sure what the plan is. Seems they're still apprehensive as to where they actually want to go. This could be a very difficult move. How are they going to get out of long? They've got a flashbang, and that's about it. It's not going to be enough to hold Cutler off. Cutler's going to wait with the M4. As you say, it's not going to be enough to hold him off. Zeus grabs Tech 9. Swap that over. Cutler peeks out Spee's. A little bit of aggression being shown. I think he saw Edward again on that second shoulder feet peak, but gets away from the flash, importantly. Now that M4 is going to come back out, not blinded, but an overface, a wide peak, and Flamey's able to take him down, so he only gets Starix, leaving Fugly on the site. Does have the rotation from JDM down toward the ramp at CT, but Fugly's gone down to 10 HP, and it's just JDM that's in a position to peak. Flamey's got the shot on him with the M4 picked up. And this now becomes a bit of a problem. They still have a man advantage to work with, but Flamey, he's oh. now got Tarek. Fugly's on the site. He's extremely low. He's gone. It's on to Hazed. One this? versus two. They've got the bomb down on short. Why is everyone facing like this? You just need to hold up and actually get the crossfires, but Hayes doing what he can. Takes down Eswood. Five seconds remains to stay alive. The hunt is on. Can Flamey get him? He actually will. He's actually going to oh do it. Oh, my God. Feel sick. Oh, he's just barely. That was horrible from CLG. Why are they facing that? They've got the bomb down on short. They don't need to face whatsoever. They're giving him so many opportunities. Playing against one of the best aimers on the planet, Flamey. And you're giving him opportunities to take you down. That's insane. Hayes did what he could here. That was actually fair play to him. But they came very close indeed. Flamey had to hit one bullet there with one second remaining. And somehow Hayes comes out on top. But I feel like that's a round CLG deserved to lose considering their mid-round decisions there towards the end. That was very sloppy indeed. But 
They dodge it. And it's going to be a full EK from Navi after not getting the bomb down once again, but... I mean, oh, look, look at how much this hurts the LG, though, because JDM goes down to it. Against five Glocks, right? It, I, sure. I mean, they do have the manager playing. They could lose to Glocks, okay? It's possible. But I, I, again, I mean, it's just building the economy up, because if they start to lose players here, or they have to force a rebuy out in the next I round, it doesn't stage, build it as long as they could happy to win the rounds after that. True. I mean, you show. saw how upset Hayes looked about it. Like, guys, what the hell? No, Flamey we'll will get fugly, though. Anyway. They should get a plan here, though, I think. And here we're going down, and Zeus is going to be the one to do it. So, I've actually got a couple of kills here. So, maybe the Glock Nightmare is about to begin. Could be a third coming in as Tarek does manage to send them on their way. But two frags and a bomb plan for Navi. It's not a bound run at all, considering they only had five Glocks there. CLG do manage to win the round. 11 play 7 now. We'll see the cash coming in for Navi. They will be able to buy up. And an AWP will be possible as well, but it looks thing as well. Flaming on $3,500 at the moment. Goes up to 6 6. So a nice healthy buy coming in. You're absolutely right. This definitely didn't help losing that amount of players in the second round, but I'm just happy they won considering the massive advantage they had. And you would have, I, I think you would have had a meltdown. I, would like, have, I think I would have just... I would have been Moses bad. might have had to come over here and do mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR to re resuscitate you. <laughs> would there be CPR if it's voluntary? <laughs> okay. All right. I did say Moses. Oh. Are you cheating on me? Wow. This, this <laughs> just got awkward. Anyway. AWP back out on Star Wars. He's got the glass cannon. And no war for CLG yet. That money's still a little bit of a problem, but it doesn't matter when Fugly's finding double kills like that. Takes down Edward and Zeus. They're going for the fast mid play. Get completely punished as well. Fugly's stepping up massively around. They're up against the ropes in terms of the cash, but great work from him. Five on three. Now the CTs really can decide just to fall back. They don't need to work any harder. That's everything that was needed to be done. Established in the first 10 seconds of the round. Now Navi need to make Star X find this next pick. The CTs. Surely learn their lesson from that second round, and we'll just be holding up, turning on the bomb sites, and forcing Navi to go in before they actually get their next move. And Flamey's going to wait for the option to present itself. It's one flash over JDM on the A ramp. No one out inside mid right now. They're relying on the swing player in CT to have all the coverage because with these two kill advantage, they don't need to over rotate on this. Yeah. Starx goes in first. PWP in hand. Molotov actually. Oh, this is problematic. Separates. Flamey from his two teammates now, and if JDM faced this, it would be an easy shot. He'd be sitting duck. They're gonna continue on. Flashbang out. JDM knows they're here, looks up, spots two heads, gets back around with the yeah, M4. Four. They're gonna bring the player finally back down from long. It's Cutler that's gonna be able to help out JDM in this situation, as the two players from B now fully do rotate. And JDM, they can't really do much to deny the bomb plant in this, and he's gonna go down. Stark sits the shot. It's three versus three in a post plant, and now Hayes goes. This works out so well for Navi, so a passive play, and Tarek misses the shot towards Catwalk. Cutler thankfully does hit one on to Seized. Still time being bought, and the kit, it's in Tarek's hands, but he's now up against just one. Does hit the shot onto Flamey. And Stark has to hold this with the AWP. Good jump in. Tarek goes over top of the barrels to do it. Big round there from Tarek, and another five on three situation that. Almost turns into a horrible, horrible affair. But as you can see the effect, when JDM has the rifle in his hand, you can see he's not very confident with them. He could have been hitting at least one kill there. He had players not even looking at him. A lot of tension taken away. Struggling to land any bullets. Does get punished in the end, but ultimately they do win the round. Good read from Tarek. Jumps around the corner. Knows Starrex is the orpa. And it's completely zones him out. I think we've got a pause coming in from Navi now. Money is definitely suitable to get a buy-in, but it's 12 against 7 in favor of CLG. The rounds are very close indeed, so the rebuys coming in from CLG means if they just do lo lose one round, that reset could be very detrimental to them going forward. So they have got an orb now on JDM. That was a problem. You can see... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, he's not up like Crims, you know? Crims just owns it. Peter's like, oh, I'm sorry. Don't show my mom. Don't show my mom. I I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> I'm a healthy boy. Are you a healthy boy, Matt? <laughs> it's debatable, but yes, apparently I am. <laughs> we won't explore that in the open. Any <laughs> um, but yeah, the money for Navi right now, they definitely can get the orbs out once again. It's currently 4-0 in favor of CLG. Some very close and hairy rounds, you have to say, and gifted them in some respects. But Navi now just taking some time just to chill out. These timeouts are famous for Navi. They normally bounce back and find rounds all over the place once they come out of the timeouts. It'd be interesting to see the response from CLG. Obviously, they get a timeout here as well. We haven't seen any mega aggression from them right now. So no, not really. I want to see whether they use this timeout and think, well, they're going to try and adapt to us now. They're going to bring something new to the table. Navi, although they're traditionally known to be a very slow-paced team and they kind of work the picks and stuff like that, they can be known, especially in this kind of scenario, they haven't got their main player, just to drop in a very fast tactic and see if they can just get out towards middle. But 
to I'd go, like to see COG push and maybe go for a pick and mix things up. And to go back to your point about Guardian, I think if where Stark is playing this turret style, there he is. True to his name. Mountain Jim. They got to make like a, a, a special edition JDM chair that's just built only in that mold. Yeah, why has no one done that yet? Oh, that's, that's huge marketing right there. Anyway, the point I was going to make is, is Starks has the turret style op, hitting shots, CT side, that works. But Guardian's known for opening up the map on the T side on Dust2 as well. He's great down middle. He's got great movement mechanics as well out toward long. He can get shots in B. So this is where Stark, if they are going to be hurt by not having Guardian on this map, this is where Starks has to show up. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Well, the buys will be coming in. As I said, COG get the chance as well to actually have this time out, maybe throw something interesting in themselves. Let's see what they bring to the table here as we enter round number 20. As I said, if COG were to lose, this will be an eco for them. Be some very close affairs here. There it is, JDM faces middle. And we said Starrix had to step up, but he's the one that gets taken down in T-spawn. 5 versus 4 once again in favor of COG. Edward trying to rectify the situation. He does aggressively face towards Long, but smoked out. And zone out of position now as Cutler does hear him fall back as well. So... Now Navi needs to decide how they're going to get back into this. Seize, let's pick up the AWP. Normally the second AWP for Navi. But JDM in low beat is finding so much confidence now. I like this. Well, you said you wanted to see aggression, Henry. Ask and ye shall receive an AK to the face, as JDM did. So after getting that man advantage, you can see he was uh, aggressive and confident. I don't mind that at all, but obviously when he dies, it does give Navi some footing back into the round. Four versus four now. But Fuggy pushing off towards short. Hayes in middle as well. They have got them... Pretty locked out of the A-bomb site. It's going to be coming down to Fugger now. They can find his first frag. He can't. And Seize gets the kill towards Hayes as well. Heavy advantage for Navi. Now it's going to be a four-on-one. Tarek, the last player remaining. After they found that kill in T-spawn, it has fallen apart. This is a guaranteed round for Navi now. And as I said, the money completely in tatters for CLG will be on a full eco next round. Potentially two of them. And tarek has gone quiet in this game because he did have a decent start to this. But he sits on 13 frags. Fugly all the way this game. 20 kills totaling and topping the leaderboard. But as you say, it is all this round in the hands now of Na'Vi. Money not great as well for CLG, so good opportunity for Na'Vi to try and climb back in after this timeout. Double Ops still held. They won't try and, well, okay, they're gonna push forward, at least lose an AK out of this, but they won't try and get rid of those AWPs and the AK won't be swapped out for that M4. Tarek goes down. Well, there it is. CLG, some very close rounds. They were 4-0 up, but Na'Vi bouncing back now. And they will have the double orb set up on the T side. So, judging by the buy of COG, they have got a, a Zeus on towards Tarek. So he's going for some taser action here in round number 21. Nothing really purchased at all apart from that. So, Tarek getting tagged for the doors. That double orb setup can be very tricky to navigate fast. So, <coughs> it, I, I, I'm so done with it. I give Why? up. Is the old cough button broken again? I think I have to allow for a slight delay on it. I'm not doing that. But Edward, he's not going to delay. He takes down two. Cutler, Fugly, Go, and Zeus. Flamey now on the opposite side, through the flames, oddly enough. How, how fitting is that? How poetic. He's going to find Hazed as well. And there you go. Pretty straightforward round that time. CLG sitting on 12 still. Not in a position to go for the AWP, so they should just take this on the chin, as you like to say, Henry, with this double eco situation. Indeed. Obviously, they could force into this, but the advantage they have right now, they're probably thinking, oh, should we draw a double orb set up ourselves? At least get JDM onto it. We saw and speak about quite a lot that his rifle capabilities aren't really up there. Rather, world class players start, does get the kill through the door on towards Haze. This round is almost redundant, though. CLG don't really have much to work with whatsoever. Some Deagles, DZ, that's about it. Should be a very clean cut affair. As we have got aggression into the B tunnel, we could find one here with the P250. That's Flamey down, so now they pick up an AK. As I said, those Cs is ready. Outside the B tunnels, does pick up that kill. Now this is the case of waiting for more reactions coming from the CTs. Edward, and where there is a player on the other side of that smoke. Cut that with the CZ. Can be very effective close range, but let's see what he can do here. Edward. Very patient right now. Yeah. I think this has been a game of patience on both sides. CLG is showing a new face in terms of how passive they have been in a lot of these setups. There's not much they're going to be able to do this time again with pistols. It's pretty straightforward. Edward, as he actually shot to the corner, just holds it down as Cutler shows himself, reveals himself from behind the door. But now the guns come back up, and Tarek's going to be the one to buy an AWP. They're going to go the double setup. Yeah. It's JDM as well. This is normally the go-to strategy. Once you get a little bit down in the rut and you have to double eco, and you know the T's are exploiting you in terms of the picks, and they're actually coming out on top in those situations, bring out the double orb. It's probably the strongest dust two setup you can bring. It means you have one versatile orb, you can move around the map, and you have a solid turret towards the B side as well. So this is a very good call from CLG to mix things up. And you see this is what I'm talking about. JDM going aggressive up short, gets the shot through the wall as well, taking down Seized. And that's one of the orbs dropped for Navi, so 
That's exactly what they wanted to do. They had the mana advantage before and they gave it away with JDM continuing the aggression. Now I think they'll probably fall back and realize, well, it's not probably worth giving that away this time. Let's actually fall back and make sure Navi make the next move. Super well done for JDM. Edward needs to find a way to get this back, but JDM's already yeah, rotated around and you staring can see at him and Long. They've, they've changed it up now. He's not going to be staying around on short trying to get the next kill. He wants to actually force Navi into the, something uncomfortable here. So changing his position up, going back towards the Long Doors, and that's the perfect play, I would say, at this point. Slight difference in the fact that normally we talk about the player in CT being ready for a drop. If JDM goes back to the car, which he's not going to do, it's fugly on Goose. He's getting this... dated in, basically. So if that wall of smoke comes exactly. in... He's like, JDM tries to take all the aggro, trying to hit one or two kills maybe, and finally can face and hopefully go for the spray down. And, well, and spray down the default bomb plant, but the problem is, I mean, it works so long as a Molotov doesn't go toward him, and thankfully they aren't considering the option because it's, it's kind of retro at this point when Goose is commonly played. See if it works. Fugly in the right spot. JDM hasn't hit the shots, but they are getting closer. He's going to go now. Pop flash out one. Needs to find the second, and he goes down. If he had been more patient, you would have thought he could do more to drop the bomb. Who gets tagged up? Starix is still going to plant it as JDM goes through the edge of the... the excuse me, the box, but a great shot onto Zeus. I didn't expect him to hit that one. Finally does find Starix, and immediately they're going to go for the defuse. Lovely stuff there. Fugly, as we predicted. JDM, I'd have preferred him to actually start firing us on the shots of this mate to take the aggro away, but it didn't matter. Perfect pop flash from Fugly. Gets one. It's enough to slow them down. It's some really strong work there from JDM to clear it up at the end. Legging players all over the place, but USP is a weapon that finishes things off here. It's the first pick from him on your screen right now. That's what we're looking for with this double orb setup. It means you can be more dynamic, more aggressive. And when you've got players like JDM who are great at getting those kind of kills, that's so effective and beneficial to the team going forward. So we're going to round number 24 now. Money's still strong for Navi after yet another plan, but it's Tarek facing middle this time. He takes down Starrix once again. And it's a five and four. But Navi needs to work out what they're doing with this. And committed. They got flashed into that Molotov. They go all the way around it. Thankfully, they put the smoke out on the corner so they can get toward pit safely, but... Another situation where they lose a man and can't find a refrag. Fugly's going to work up toward Catwalk. Now back turned, ready for a flash. And JDM's going to go with him. There's no one out in middle that's visible at this point, but Seized is there coming out from the lower tunnels, and he's actually getting back just to that spot where JDM would have spotted him. Thankfully, the timing is such that JDM has just moved. Here go, then. A chance for CLG to get the next pick as a one-way smoke for JDM on towards short. A little tiny gap there. Anyone who walks around will be... Getting the head blown off. You can see it on the screen right now. There it is. As Navi looked like they'd be setting something interesting up here. They've got two players towards middle. And they have got control of long as well. So trying to find the pick here. Seeing if anyone will rotate. Obviously, the CT have a lack of information. They've got no intel as to what's going on towards long. So they're banking that someone will face towards mid and try and gain something for themselves here. But not giving in so far. CLG want to hold on to this man advantage. Now going for the retake on long. So trying to gain some real estate back on the map. JDM watching towards that platform area. But... Here comes the battle. This next kill is very important indeed. It sees edges closer, but he's going to hit the headshot as well. Lovely shot from him. And Cutler gets flashed off, but he's still playing the ledge. One shot out the other side. Edward gets the kill. It's an immediate trade. Fugly's down below in this situation, but he can't really commit to the ramp because they don't have control of long. They've lost that. And the two players coming over from B don't have catwalk back, so he would be a sitting duck between a crossfire of two Navi players. He still is. Fugly gets caught by Seize with the EWP, who finds the second one onto Tarek as well. It's down to just hazed. Well then, it's seized coming in huge there for Navi. After losing that initial pick once again, CLG with the man advantage. Didn't have much control of the map, so you can see them actually trying to retake something there. They went towards long. It's JDM got his head blown off, and Seize managing to find two more frags as well. The round is over. Hazed is going to be trying to save his weapon. Have a look at the cash coming in for CLG. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. They won't be able to buy into the next round. If they did, it'll be a full-on force. This is a real chance for Navi to get a couple of rounds in a row once again. As Hayes will be saving the M4. He's currently hiding behind the mid-doors. We'll be surviving this, but that's all about Seized. And they managed to pick up the other orb as well, so double orb potential is still going to be rolling. 13 plays 10 now as we enter round number 25. Look at the cash for Navi as well. They're set for the rest of this game. Tons of money. Yeah, perfect position for them to be in now. There's the shots from Seized to finish things off, so... As I mentioned, CLG will be going for the Eco here. Hazed with the M4. Let's see where he decides to go so far. He's just looking towards the middle. No smoke or nades to hide the cross. So they are where players are towards B. Stark's just waiting around at spawn right now, not really committing to anything. They've got Flamey that's going to evaluate the B tunnels instead. They'll wait for his call. Hazed with the only rifle is inside that B site, but B's been neglected. The bastard child of the map because it hasn't seen any activity in a while from Navi. Just 
just like you, Henry. <laughs> All right, don't rub it in, mate. Mate, try my go best. Go full British on me. <laughs> try my best. All right, I'll give you the attention. It's Cutler still waiting, flashed off. He's at 75 in hand, goes for the spray down as he pops back up. He's going to drop right around, and thankfully he didn't lose any more HP. Mighty cratered, but didn't take any damage as he fell up far enough in the ramp. Good shot from Edward. Pushed through the smoke, though. JDM's got him now. That's an AK to come back into play. He still has this rifle, but he's so far away from the action. And it looks like they're committing to the save already. He's not even going to rotate, and Flamey may actually catch him off. But Cutler with that kill, you'd think Hayes would go. He's okay. expecting that okay. Flamey is going to show up. He gets the kill on it, but... That's kind of sick. I think he's trying to overread this and the fact that the bomb's going to go to B. I, I'll give him credit. He got the kill, but... That means a rifle of the two is still far away from the activity, which has Starix finding JDM and the bomb going down on the A site. It's a decent plan as well. So if the terrorists can get down towards long, this would be massive for them. Going to be trying to cross Starex, covering them as well. So he has effectively done it. So this makes things a lot more difficult for the CTs now. They have got a kit, but as soon as that AWP is set up towards long, and they've actually upgraded to an AK here. That's interesting. I thought assumed you'd be keeping the, the AWP in that situation. That's perfect if you get the long plant down. But here comes a retake now from the CTs. It's going to be seized. Drawing first blood as he takes down Cutler. Going to get two here as I say that, though. Comes out to the one-on-one -on -one situation. It's going to be Starix stepping up. And a round where COG had nothing to work with. Somehow, Brungo brought it down to a 1v1 in a very tight position for Navi there. They come out on top and it's Starix. Starix with three. The coach delivering in a huge round. Smile on his face there. Enjoying himself. Why not? He's just having a good old time with the boys. Throwing it back, keeping it old school. Yeah. <laughs> Something, <laughs> whatever, like, whatever that Something like that. Starix is going to get taken Once down this again. time, though, by JDM over top of the smoke. But CLG stuck on this 13th round. Need to make sure that they maintain the advantage this time. Edward's going to try and get a little bit closer to the long doors, but Cutler does the same, taking advantage of the smoke that's deployed. We have got Fugly boosted in towards CD spawn as well. That boost means if any mid-split does come in, he can look over the box. It's a very strong position as well. It means you can actually just patrol, hit footsteps middle, and deny any sort of uh, aggression towards that area. But right now we have got Edward towards long doors, lurking, seeing if we can find that first kill. It has been an ongoing battle between Cutler and Edward. As it actually looks like Navi may be thinking about going towards me. They have a player on upper B as well, so maybe just clear out short, push the CDs back, take away the intel. So we hit the one minute mark here. And Seized is trying to get himself in a better position right now with that AWP over toward the B site. Uses the nade to do so. Yeah, B play coming in. Yeah, Cutler's falling back, so now we will see Hayes get some pressure. Cutler, or excuse me, rather, Tarek, also in the corner on the outside at the mouth of the tunnel. Left on entry. He needs to be baited in by Hayes there. He needs yeah. to get all the aggro, and this could be a real possibility for Tarek to clean up and get three kills. And this isn't even going to be a split where they're down a man. This is going to be a full take and then hold off the rotation, so they have to be efficient, these two players. Flash. Hayes and Tarek. Flash, though, like you say. It's, where's the spray down? It's perfect. Tarek only gets one. Thankfully, he gets out of there before a response comes in, and now Hayes needs to bait for him again. A second flash, there and a is. hugely successful that time. So perfect, that flash ban. Like you said, you looked like he could go three or four there, but it was time to perfection. The second flash comes in, and he rectifies it. 14 plays 12 now, and the money is starting to get a bit dangerous for Navi. This round will be the last full by they'll get if they lose it. The CLG in touching distance of map point here. 14 plays 12 now. JDM has been picking Starx time and time again. This time won't be going for the face. Starx not going for any cross shots here. Wants to make sure he doesn't get taken down once more. Big round coming in. If CLG can get to round number 15 here, that's a huge advantage in terms of the mentality. Knows they've released the pressure. They've really guaranteed overtime at that stage. Yeah, absolutely. Fugly falls back. Scales the wall into the corner with Cutler here as well, though. This is the double play out toward Long. It means JDM's alone on the A site. And if Navi elect to right now, they could actually push on the catwalk and take advantage of that. Right now, they're going to evaluate middle, though. As Flamey and Seized both go out of the door. Completely clean towards CT spawn. They're going to try and go for the peak, or the, excuse me, the pick, and then smoke it off if they wanted to afterward, if they don't see anything right now. And Hazed is the one that's going to have to spot this. Seized with that orb, just looking towards CT spawn, seeing if we can get anything for this, but it's a very passive hold here from the CTs. JDM solo on towards the A side, two players towards long. And we can see Navi now making the move. Gained so much from this. CLG just loving these shoulder peaks. You can't really see it right now, but it's fun, funny on the minimap. Him and Tarek, Hazed and Tarek both doing the exact same movement, trying to see into the B tunnels. But they're still going to walk out from mid, fall back slightly now, and they will go for the split. 
with no pressure put to long. Cutler's still out there with Fugly, so this is a long way away from the action over on B, and Fugly could try and push through this, but there's still a smoke. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to go for the flank, because they've already lost one man inside B, and man, it's Tarek just left alive, and he's caught by Flamey. Yeah, you can see as I was building up, Navi, so much room to work with there. COG, as you pointed out, two players committed towards long for a little bit too long for my liking. And Navi, four players committing themselves towards B, no pressure whatsoever from COG. They could do a quick smoke as they went through middle. And this is nothing Tara can do in that situation. As soon as Hayes went down, he went for the face through the doors, completely punished. That's going to be Navi bouncing back here, 14-13. JDM will save the AWP, Fugby with the M4 as well. Just, oh, as I say that though, he, that's a... Uh, a risky face for him to take, not really worth it at this stage. Uh, he goes down now, Fugly, last player remaining towards Long. It's looking like Navi may be going for the hunt here as well. You can see Edward towards Long Doors wants to take him down. Flashbang will come in. He's going to wait for his teammates, presumably, though. Maybe not um, to go straight up for the face. Not the best flash I've ever seen. Fugly, though, is still going to come under threat. Does find one. Needs to try and fade away from this. But that Molotov's actually locked him in position. They might just get there in time, and they don't. He will stay alive. I have to look at the obituary now after that Tarek last second kill. Okay. Remember when he pushed in and got Scream at the last second? Didn't show until the next round. Had to make sure it didn't show up that they did get him. He All I'm saying. He didn't get him. All right. Just in case you were wondering. Thanks for confirming. Fugly has got his weapon in hand. So, once again, it's another Ika coming in. The chance for Navi to tie things up, but definitely wasn't a clean cut affair. And the last one of these rounds, Fugly will be pushing off towards short, trying to find that first frag. There's a long take coming in from Navi here. Getting control. And the strongest parts of the map to hold. But Fugly has pushed up towards short. First battle comes in. It's going to be Edwards to challenge him here. Two players for them. They do manage to take down one, but Fugly's still fighting. Heads up towards Edward, and there's kills all over the place here. He's the control from Flamey. They're going to find these kills for the smoke. Bombs in the hands of Starx as well out toward this long platform. But Flamey's already crossed over with the AK. Another smoke going to hold CLG out, and they're going to throw that bomb so Starks can just sit. This is going to be a long plant. Zeus, that was... I would have thought yours to pick up. Starks actually has to leave platform and grab it again because Zeus says, nah, I don't want that. It's all yours. And he's going to go hunting for the frags as they try and push through that smoke, though. JDM, he's actually got one. Almost has time to pick up an AK. That would have been really awkward. This one is going right down to the wire, man. So that round, CLG did try to push up towards short. They had that one weapon on towards Fugly, but this is the one that counts. Double orb set up for Navi still. Well, JDM dare face towards middle. It's been so successful for him, but he feel like, oh, that's spawn he's got as well. We just get onto JDM. Let's see if he does go for this. There it is, Nade for the. No, okay, he's gonna go to B. Okay. So he wants to get there quick. Seize is already going into the tunnels from the T side, but this isn't gonna be a push. This is gonna be a slow play. Flash out. Seize was caught in the open. If JDM went for the fast face, he might have actually had a chance at that. So much on the line now. Navi with those two orbs, gonna be slowing things right down. Holding up, seeing the CCs will present any sort of aggression here, but JDM has got towards the back of B. No one will be facing him just yet, though. There is a player towards the tunnels. That's going to be seized. He's the other player of an orb, so I feel like he will maybe attempt to go for a face here, but so far, very quiet. JDM's just waiting for this angle to present itself. The nade goes out. Flashes, smokes, the lot, but it's all just from one player. That's from seized. So there's no commitment from this. Edward hasn't won over the long position yet, so they're going to send Zeus down Catwalk instead because they can't get information elsewhere. Tarek is still down and towards CT spawn as well, but flash out, Edward leads. Does Tarek find the right angle or not? Edward's pretty patient in this position. They'll slowly join him once they realize he's not under any immediate threat. And now Tarek and Hayes have to set up a perfect crossfire. Tarek's going to have to peek out so carefully in this position. AWP with Starx and Bomb. Going to try and go for the peek out. Molotov comes in and there it is. Star or excuse me, rather Tarek only gets one kill. So Hayes, outside of the sight of these boxes, it's usually a one and done. Has to find more than one kill. If he's going to give JDM in the sight any chance. And that works. He does find one. JDM gets the other coming out from the window. Turns back fine. Seize misses the shot. But it will be cleaned up by Hayes. And it's guaranteed at least overtime for CLG. What a play from Tarek there. Completely modeled without a position. Just had to do something with that. He knew he was going to die. Gets one frag. Gets a ton of information as well. And it's Hayes. Like you said, normally a one and done position. But somehow JDM backing him up for the window as well. Gets two kills. And they manage to hold on. That's round number 15. Established for CLG. We go into... The final round of the first, uh, the second half here. Five AKs, no orbs this time for Navi. So it's actually going to be JDM mixing things up once more. He's boosted up towards short, going for that first pick. It worked out last time. Then he find the same sort of form. Very aggressive indeed. So he's coming in towards lower B. This could be the first pick coming in once again. He's there. He's waiting. Flashes out. He's managed to duck down and get out of the line of sight. 
but unfortunately he doesn't have the advantage of peeking to that back the other way and has to fall. Has to fade away down catwalk. Zeus Starks gonna join in and rush him quickly. Has to get the first shot, does. Starks trades it though. And now it's a refrag as well. No, Fugly can't land it. Starks finds two again. So they've got the man advantage. A minute and 14 to work with as well. Bomb's already on top of the platform and Cutler, he just needs to make sure he holds on to long so the retake becomes possible, but Edward's gonna play patience with him. So as soon as Cutler thinks it's safe, it's gonna be a false sense of security. And when that smoke dissolves, Edward's surely gonna push on to him. So around the corner they go. No Eve kills even coming in. Guys, we're over time. And it's gonna the be over time, yep. Yeah. yeah, chill the music, guys, we're not done. We got a game. Got another few more twists and turns here. But Navi coming back is actually Starix, the coach who finds those three kills after losing the first frag at the hands of JDM for that aggressive playoff towards short, flashed out. I think considering the situation, he should be playing the more passive position, holding the corner and give himself the chance to drop back. He went for that face and he got one kill, sure, but as soon as he dies, that's that whole side of the map open short is open for business. He had cutler towards long, didn't really have enough manpower with him. He needed to stay alive after getting that one pick. It was too audacious, too aggressive. And here we go then, of course. It's gonna be MR3, 10k. He stay on the sides. He started on. And Navi now back in with full cash. Same story for CLG. They're mixing things up with a double orb seven percent. And that's a key note to make because again, if you lose two rounds in a row in overtime, you kind of have to force by the third. And if you go double up heavy. It makes that even worse. Flamey Flash, though, Fugly does find the first kill into this, so this works out well. Nade's gonna do reasonable damage if he likes to throw that in. He decides otherwise. It's gonna be CLG with the first opening two frags. JDM coming to life once more, takes down Starex. That's from middle. And now C's stepped up so many times before with the orb from his fallen comrade. Can he do it again? He's gonna be holding towards middle and seeing JDM will be facing him once more, but. Once again, CLG making the call to go much more passively, hold towards the site, and not give anything away here. They want Navi to fully execute before they have an opportunity to find any kills. Edward smoked off. Fugly and JDM are going to rotate back down as well, so they've given up on this three-approached effort at long. Go back to a more of a default set. Fugly as well. Remember, we talked about his excellent first half. Yeah. He's only got four kills since he hit that 20 mark. Relatively long time ago at this point in time, but he is still efficient on the CT side, so look for him to be effective in this position, the swing position, but JDM's got taken out already by Seized, and Edward has long. This is a perfect take right now from Navi, and rather than overcommitting to this because it's just countering out the deficit, they can slow this down and now try and take full control. And Hayes actually is going to try and be smart about this, but he's being so loud. Edward hears that coming this far is, too easy. This is getting a little bit horrible now for CLG. They're not playing positions, they're not cross-firing. They're actually just playing everything in one versus X situations. They're losing every single battle. It's now the man advantage in favor of Navi from a five on three. They're going to be flashing through. Tag should be punished for this. Somehow still alive, trying to deny that bomb plant, but does manage to get the kill on towards Edward. Equals things up, and now it is a one versus one. Seas versus Tarab. Tarek on an AWP, not his normal weapon in these situations. Has to try and go for a second quick scope and seized is smart to repeak it. AK is going to prevail, and that's first blood in overtime to Navi. You have to think that CLG getting those first two picks. There's being defensive, and then there's being a little bit too defensive. They're playing quite silly there. They've played so spread out, and they weren't actually in any sort of scenario where they could crossfire or get frags back or exchange effectively. Actually saying, well, if you guys go around as a three-man unit, you're going to beat us in every single point. And they just picked up, made up the picks, and it's a crushing round for CLG to lose. And it's going to be Starrix this time getting the better of JDM. Rifts his head off towards middle. And now the CTs, we talk about this on cash. They need to react. They need to be finding something to gain anything in their favor at this stage. Most teams will be pushing towards upper B, but you can see Navi just holding up right now, waiting for any reaction coming from the CTs. Flashed out, Hazed had to force off this for a slight moment. Goes for the flick shot, actually does connect on that. Zeus goes down to 17 on a shot through the door. flamey has got on a catwalk, but Fugly again is in position. They're gonna change this positioning from JDM, but he gets caught, he gets taken down, and this is now a problem. As Tarek is the only AWP remaining, there's none over toward the A site, and Flamey is still approaching on this catwalk position. And just by having a presence, not even by forcefully taking it, just yeah. by having a presence out toward Long Cutler has been a little bit late to rotate and been staying there, and it's worked out so well, but this time he's given up on it. He just says, I don't care, I need to get back to the site, and it's the right call. Problem is he's still second-guessing it. He still knows the timing is off, and they're going to try and Molotov everyone on the platform out so Cutler doesn't have room to work, but he's got the distraction from his teammate. Hayes finds one, and Cutler gets the other, and it's down to three plays on to two. Hayes is low, and the shot onto Cutler makes that a problem because now it's... Zeus, 
and hazed low and seized and Tarek both on AWP's high, but it's seized that finds Tarek first. And that nade, okay. it's gonna work out. The bounce and seized has great awareness. And seized has been absolutely phenomenal this game. He hits 32 frags right now and he's clutching left, right and center and just bringing so much versatility to Navi with his AWP plays. Very aggressive. Even in that scenario, you'd expect him just to fall back on long and just back his teammate up and stop the cross coming in, but he wants to go for it. He gets the nade kill in the end and it's gonna be 2-0 here. And this is exactly what we talked about, Map. If you buy two orbs in the first round and then an orb in the second as well, you're going to be struggling for cash in the third round. You can see all the auto snipers coming out, trying to do damage with the door. CLG just have four pistols and a Famus. This could be 3-0 in favor of Navi. After what looks so strong for CLG going into the sec latter stages of the second half, it's all falling apart now. Absolutely correct on that statement because they had a decent lead at 13-7. They just couldn't get the economy rolling to push them over the finish line. They got that 15th round. You thought, all right, pressure's off, but... Navi's brought it right back in this overtime, and Edwards still pushing, just again, having that presence that long. It looked like CLG was going to go for a fast-paced play toward those long doors with the pistols, but they elected not to push through. That was smart, because Navi was waiting for it. They know the money situation. Yeah. They have got the order sniper in hand as well, so it's going to be seized, running their weapon. They're going to be making their way towards short as well, just staying together, making sure that any presence whatsoever can be refragged. See, he's holding towards long. No one's supposed to be whatsoever. The CTs need to find something for this. Just sitting on the site with pistols is not going to be enough to actually find frags here. JDM now gets to smoke the high behind. Flashman comes in, but that's going to do too much. That's a little bit of damage there. That's something to work with now. Flash over. JDM has to crouch from behind the smoke. Tries to fire his own flashback into it. Actually works, but not, doesn't have the vision to peek on top of it. They get a one for one, though. Tarek finds the first. Now seized again, though. Auto Sniper is going to go to work. Good positioning on. Goose to try and shut it down, but they knew he was there, so it's only one for JDM again. This is going to allow the bomb plant, and Zeus holds it together to find Cutler. Reasonable rotation in quickly from Hayes, but he's found from Starrix again, who will close it out. Three A straight sweep from Navi. Exactly that. 3-0 in overtime. Very difficult scenes now for CLG. They go over to the T side. They can't afford to drop a single round here. Three in a row required for them. Just one round required for Navi to take this game. All on the line now. We'll see what kind of buy Navi brings to the table. They can afford to be a little bit more aggressive now. They can go for those first picks, but you have to say it's been JDM, has been capitalizing on most of them. As we go into the second half of overtime here. Buy's coming in. JDM on the single orb on the T side. Starrax purchased the orb so far. C's has been phenomenal with it. I wouldn't be surprised if he went in as well. Yeah. There it is. Why not? Let's go for that first pick. 34 kills for C's. Next best on Navi. 12 less. 22 for Starrax. And Zeus. I make it sound like Starrix is more impressive with the way I said Zeus there, but that's all right. As Tarek is already evaluating what's going on in the tunnels, going to clear out the angles, and Fugly waits for any chance of a push toward B. Pretty straightforward default we see this time and time again from CLG. Zeus boosting himself into the spawn there. That's the same position I was talking about before. Stops any mid split potential. And that could be interesting. You see the bombs down in B tunnels, and there are three players, four CLG towards middle. This could be their crib tonight. And as Seas has been so. Strong in this position, which looking to shut him down here. So they're trying to show the hand towards A, get some sort of presence on that side of the map. Peel some CTs away potentially, but they need to be finding a kill here. I don't think now they're going to budge. Remember, Fugly had a brilliant first half in regulation on the terrorist side. This could be the strap they try and get Tarak into CT spawn. And wrap a rack around the B potentially. Yeah, Double smoke. Yep, that's exactly it. He's in, but look at Zeus's angle. He's playing on top of the box slightly off, but he has to figure this out. He has to guess it correctly. Thankfully, Seized does a brilliant job. Gets all three inside of middle, and that gives so much room to Zeus. Makes it all too easy. Tarek never even got close to making that flank happen. It's on JDM. This is it. It's Navi. With a coach, they'll move through groups. Two straight maps, and CLG will have to fight on tomorrow in the decider, the best of three. But it's playoffs for Navi. Impressive stuff there. We had the question mark above Starrick's head whether we'd be able to form time and time again. Actually has some very impressive rounds, some impactful kills as well to open things up. But for me, the MVP overall has to be seized, right? 37 kills and just locking them down. Even when they're losing that first frag, as JDM would play a great game as well. He's actually consistently finding first frags, but Seize would pick up the AWP and find three or four. There was no stopping that guy. One of the best games he's played in quite a while. Very strong stuff from him. CLG, you have to feel like they're going to be gutted after that one. Came so close, Matt. They looked like they were going to take it, but Navi just holding on time and time again.